love is strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf Hello guys, welcome back once more. We are just approaching the town of Penakova. What the hell was that? Uh, this is during the carnival season, so I've seen some people in masks. <laughs> so we're gonna leave the shores of the Mondego River, climb the hill of Penakova town all the way up to a beautiful viewport that overlooks the entire valley and the Mondego River. Then we're gonna go back down and enter the local highway to go home to my home village. Like I was saying, Penacova is a Portuguese town in the district of Coimbra. It's located on the province of Beira Litoral in the Beiras region of Portugal. It has about 3,200 inhabitants and its foral was granted by Dom Sancho I, the second king of Portugal, on 30 August 1192. Penacovi is known by its geographic curiosity. It is located on a tall hill overlooking the river Mondego. So I expect to the, the views from up there should be amazing. Of course, we have the usual cobblestones, <laughs> always the same. Nice houses here. It is a very small town, but it's peculiar and very old, of course. There's a chapel here. I believe this is the center of town. The town hall here. Let's go, let's go up to the viewport. I was saying going uphill to the viewport, but I guess I have to go downhill a bit to go around to the to the road that goes to the up there. I was saying Penakov is a small town, but actually feels kind of big. Because much of it is across the hill, in the strait, you know. Actually, quite big. Hello, ladies. This must be the, the local fire department and emergency service. And we should, should go left here. And here we're going up. The sun is setting, the GoPro is uh, switching to night mode already, I bet. But I'm sure in 30 minutes it will be dark as hell. Look at this. The River Mondego goes all the way to the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, in Figueira de Foz, after passing by Coimbra. Oh, nice parking here. Must be kind of lost. Oh, red sign. This is really steep, but no problem. Just use the rear brake and you'll be fine. 
Oh, I love this uh, center path in the middle of the road. It is from the medieval times. It is. It was built for the horses, but it also great for us motorcyclists. Oh, there is a, a very spectacular hotel in the, in the, the right in the summit of this hill, but I think it's abandoned for a long time ago. Look at this view. Amazing fellow GS bike here. There is the hotel on my left. But across the river there is an, uh, a hill almost as big as this one, or even more, I'm not sure. I wonder if there is a world up there. <laughs> Alright, this is the viewport. There are a bunch of young people in there, but sorry guys, I'm going in. That is a beautiful smile. Look at this. This is the way north. And south on this side. I'm going to take the opportunity to take off with with my drone, do a little flight in here. Please forgive me, my drone footage is really a uh, noob. I'm, I don't have any practice with drone flights, so Forgive me the bad footage. It will get better with time, I guess. But first, the usual pictures.
All right, so let's go. I think you just saw some drone footage of the surroundings, but also of the abandoned hotel. It is interesting because the hotel was constructed in the site of the old medieval castle. Many, many years ago, it was constructed there and it was a sanatory for young children to heal and in the 70s it passed to the hands of the Santa Casa de Misericordia de Penacova. In an attempt to take advantage of the space, the, the palace of Mondego was born and it's the only of its kind here in Penacova, of course. In 2001, a company bought the space in order to set up a hotel and in the following year, the hotel opened the doors. It's quite luxurious, but I'm afraid that in 2007, this hotel closed its doors. After many stories were told about the, the place, many people said the hotel was haunted and it was abandoned so fast that even the furniture was left on the spot. More recently, in 2018, the hotel was affected by a fire that destroyed part of the hotel, especially in the inside. Too bad because it's on an amazing place. If you like ghosts, you know where to go. <laughs> All right, let's go back. There is no, almost nobody on the streets. So back here, the main road of Penacova. So I'm gonna go straight to the highway, to the local highway, and go to home because it's getting night. And uh, there is no point in going on twisty roads. I wanna get there before uh, dinner time. It was a very beautiful day to, to ride, that's for sure. This highway, the, it, it's known as the IP3, IP3, connects Coimbra to the town, to the city of Viseu. Uh, it's under constructions of uh, some places on it so heavy traffic because it's a little bit dangerous so it's under construction in a lot of places even so i'm sure i can pass through easily so i'm going to do it From here to my own village, it's just one more hour, more or less. Going easy, of course. Oh, this is a sharp turn. And here we go. As you can see, is under the constructions I was talking about. The road works, I should say. There's Penakova in the horizon. And once more crossing the Mondego River.
Look at this view. Beautiful. The sun is setting and the, the water is just orange. It's great. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, have a good evening. Stay safe. And I hope to see you on the next video. Ciao.